Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to properly develop 35 and 120 millimeter film using the sprint chemistry up here. I'm going to show you how to properly agitate, add chemistry, change chemistry to the next bath, and proper temperature control. To reach proper temperature, you need a combination of the faucet drain on hot and the side siphon drain on cold. Use a thermometer to check whether or not the thermometer is accurate, look at the temperature on the thermometer face and compare it with the room temperature. If it's the same, it's accurate. If it's above or below, compensate for the difference. Be sure the temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Maintaining your temperature at 68 degrees is extremely important, especially in the developer. If you notice on the chart for 68 degrees compared to 72 degrees, the time varies between a minute and a minute and a half. That minute or minute and a half could mean that you're overdeveloping or underdeveloping by a stop, leaving your film less contrasty and overall flat. A proper temperature ensures that the film does not flex while it's developing going from bath to bath, which can alter the resolution of the film and the contrast overall. I'm filling these cylinders with 20 ounces of fluid. For tutorial purposes I'm only going to fill it with water instead of actually using chemistry. Once your bath is at 68 degrees you can place your developer, your stop bath, and the fixer in the water to maintain a constant temperature. Check your developer and your stock and your fixer to make sure they're the right temperature. Once they are also to 68 degrees, you can start developing. Remove the cover from your developer tank. The proper way to pour a developer in is to take 10 seconds pouring it. Once you begin pouring, the timer needs to start. Place the cap and proper rotation is three complete rotations in five seconds. Watch your timer to determine how fast you need to rotate. Proper rotation technique is hand twists and goes under. Your hand twists and then goes under. And this is regular speed. This allows the air to travel across the film agitating the developer. Once your time is up, Make sure you take 10 seconds to pour the developer. This needs to begin 10 seconds before the developer is done, and immediately pour your stop bath in. Again, taking 10 seconds to do that. As you know, stop at this constant agitation. Once that gets done, and you pat the bubbles out, beginning 10 seconds before your cycle is over, pour your stop bath back into the container. and immediately pour your fixer in. Again, taking 10 seconds to do that too. Remember, three rotations 
every five seconds. When you're developing film, you're a machine. Machine can do this better than you, so you need to be constant, so you don't have any variables. Once the timer is done with the fixer, take the top off, and pour it back in, taking 10 seconds to do that too. Unscrew the top and examine your film. You place it in the water bath for five minutes. While this is washing, pour your chemistry back in the containers. While your film is in the five minute water bath, take that time to get everything ready for the next step. The fix remover needs to be filled to 20 ounces just like the other ones did and set in the bath so it can bring it down to temperature too. Once you have rinsed out your container, you can replace the film, screw the top back on, get all the extra water out, and get ready to pour the fix remover in. Take 10 seconds to do this too. Remember, you need to be machine like, you can't have any errors doing this. Otherwise, in every roll of film you have, there will be some sort of mistake. Constant agitation for two minutes. When you're done with that, remove the top. Ten seconds before the timer is done, pour the fixer when we're back into the cylinder. Now you can again remove the top and allow for another five minute water bath. During your second five minute water bath, this is a good time to get your photo flow ready and if you have any film wipes, get those ready too. Because the next step is photo flow for 30 seconds and then it goes into the dryer. Once your second five minute water bath is done, replace the film into the container. This time you don't need to screw the top back on. Take your photo flow that's been adjusted to temperature and pour it onto the film. Take the foam canister, take the inside cylinder and pick up the film and place it back in while you're rotating your hand. Do this for 30 seconds. When you're done, pour the photo flow back in to the cylinder. Carefully pull your film out and let it drip over the sink a little bit. And then take it over to the film dryer to dry your film.